say push football, we need more support at grassroots level. Financial support, infrastructure support. They've got to get out in the bush. If you don't have a junior league to supplement the senior league, it'll just die. Back in the day, I played for West Wyalong. I played 80, 81 and 82. And then after that, I was approached by some Sydney clubs. I worked on Merino studs and we had our own little farm. I was working out at a shearing shed and they came out and took the photo. I was never going to go to Sydney, but the drought set in. And I thought, well, I'll take the punt and end up staying for 10. Seven years at Penrith, two at Parramatta and one at South. That's when I had hair back then. And <laughs> when I left Sydney, I came back and I actually got involved in Senior League and then I got involved in the Parks and Districts Junior League because my boys were all playing. I went on the committee, became a referee. I refereed for probably 15 years. I'm the club president this year. Last year, I was the secretary. You done it all? <laughs> Not quite, but I'm out of go anyway. The West Wallow knockout's been going for 51 years. As the prize money's increased, you attract more and more clubs. One, two, three, My first first grade game with West Wollong was in the West Wollong knockout back in 1970. We won it <laughs> the first year. West Wollong, out of all those years we've run it, have only won it three times. I thought it was enormous, but it wasn't as big as what we've got now. It's really great for the town. People come from everywhere. It's a good family day. But all the old boys come back. Anything can happen in knockout football. It's only 15 minutes. It's one drop ball. It's one bad kick. It's one missed tackle. Anyone can win. It's one of those things at the moment NRL's thriving at the top end. Without people like Matt and all those other volunteers in small communities like West Wyalong, there's no footy for the kids. There's something in it for someone to win it, like $20,000 first prize. Most of the clubs around here are run on chook raffles, so... <laughs> $20,000 a lot of chook around. Well, I've come here for a long time, I've never won one, and being someone who's from the area, uh, this is a special competition for me and something that's revered around the country as a great knockout. It's just all volunteers keeping the game alive, you know? We would like to see something out here in the bush where the New South Wales Rugby League say, we'll pay everyone's registration this year. Just something, you know. We're the oldest club in New South Wales country, except for Newcastle and Sydney. Guys are very passionate about the game, not only for fitness, but for comradeship and good mental health. And that's what I'm afraid of. If it ever died, you wouldn't have that comradeship, you know, the mates together. All I wanted to do when I was a junior player was play for West Wall. That was my total ambition. It's an honour to play in this jumper, go out there and do your best.